What's up, everybody? Crypto Muscle coming to you with another YouTube video. Oh, yeah, fake laser. Oh, man. I'm just a anti hero, hero in the space, bringing to you more and more and calling out more bullshit than any other YouTuber there is out there because that's what I like to do and it's fun. And the truth in crypto is what I bring out. And people hate it because, well, I'm just telling the truth. Comes to you with another video. Oh, yeah. Oh, man, the rumbling, the noise is getting louder and louder and louder. Oh, man, so much noise. All I got to say is let's take a look at the market today as we speak. Sunday afternoon, 47,001. Uh, slightly down. I mean, this is pretty much flat because it's a large price to this thing here. Large market cap. So a 1%, 1.8, it's relatively flat. So let's just great, get straight to the point. So and they're looking for any of you idiots out there to take a bite at anything, all right? So you idiots are talking about, especially this one. This one's the next pick right here, Gala, right? Let's take a look at that. And it's funny how you get losers out there that say, oh, well, um, you know, when I saw this, I, I could have bought it at this price point right here. And it's funny how that loser that runs Burning Tree says it every time, every pick, right? Every pick. Oh, man, I was looking at it when it was right here at this price. Only if I did, I could have just got it right there. Yeah, right, dude. Really. <laughs> laughable, laughable that you always seem to be the well, one looking at it at that price, but net yet not buy. Doubt it. So, same with this bullshit right here. You idiots out there, they're trying to get you to bite on anything. Oh, man, it's on, it's on Coinbase now, guys. Oh, shit, it's going to move the needle. No, not really. I mean, when you look at it, I mean, yeah, it moved a little bit, but really not that much I mean this is just your typical number with so many zeros in front of it I mean phew, you're really gonna play around with zeros and millions of these coins to move around before you actually make a profit come on people wake up and it's just the bullshit that goes on in the space you know especially by your uh, bloods that bleed crypto out there with the burning tree platform check this out what about this one? How about interviewing with that dev once again? I, I can't wait for the next interview. Probably won't do it though, but I can't wait. This one is pretty much dead in the water. Has more and more zeros come down to it. Look at that. All time low once again. This was six days ago. Nine seven nine six eight. Now it's nine six seven. Every day. Just keeps getting lower and lower and lower. But man, what happened to eating the moon and all the bullshit? I guess it's not going to go, you know, anywhere to this price once again. But shit, you could dollar cost average, guys. The most overused phrase in crypto, too. Dollar cost average, guys. You buy in, you own a shitload of these things. Now, holy shit. And then when it goes back up, oh, man, you'll be laughing at the bank. Or not, because you'll be stuck holding a big bag of bullshit here. Man, it's fun calling out bullshit. I keep seeing it. Take a look at this bullshit now. All right, so I looked at this over again. And 3% last week was the gain, right? 3%. So you can earn up to that, right? So 3%. No fees taken out, all right? So that's a kind of a bonus because when fees are taken out, 20% fees charge of profit made. Think about that. 20% fees charged on profit made on you guys. <laughs> That's going to be a whole lot of nothing that you guys are going to get from the already up to 5% a week that you're already getting. How are they going to get 20% from that? From the profit. Wow. That's a big chunk of money. Oh, yeah. By the way, round two just started. And... Um, Let's just say it was falsely called, all right, saying, oh, man, there's more people in the last time. There's more last time. 
No, because the number you had last time was 51 people. So there's less people this time that's participating. Yeah, Grant, and you know what? A little bit less crypto as well. Look at that, 379. So 40 people, 379. You know what the final number was when you, when you were trading around one? Let's get the number straight. 51 people, 382. Yeah, it's a little bit less. All right, but a lot less people this time. All right. Now let's take a look at even more. You have about six people that has 10 or more in here. All right, and the biggest contributor is 203. So when you add it all up, 294 of this is is by six people man that's a whole lot of nothing for this shit platform because when you think about it without those six people you would have only 85 bnb in here wow and then that would make it only 36 or 34 people let's take away those six people only 34 people all right with just only 85 bnb that shows you how dead in the water this thing is and i mean <laughs> whew. that's all i gotta say whew, 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 man and that uh ama bullshit oh man there's a whole lot of people interested in this thing you have like 300 something yeah one of them owns like half of this all right more than half just by one person Without that one person, I mean, that's really not a whole lot. Even with that one person, there's still not a whole lot of BNB. Because when you take it out, that's only 176. So that's really a whole lot of nothing going on in here. And it's funny because I'm starting to think with Tiwi's pea brain that he doesn't really, he follows, he follows the trades. But he's scared of the trades, all right? Because he's putting out this bullshit survey about running another plan with 14 days, 30 days. But he's scared of commitment, all right? Dude's scared of commitment because, I mean, history. It's all history. Everything is historical, all right? I'm, I'm a purveyor of history. I love history. And history always repeats itself, all right? So when you look at history... He would talk about going into trades, you know, say, oh, man, look at this. You back tested in shit's gap. You back tested. Oh, man, look at that. Look how much you can make in a week, seven days. But yet he only could hold it for about two or three days before he has to move shit out, of, you know, before bullshit goes out of range and all this other crap. And then he has to refix his things or he's scared of losses. And so that in itself is what's always happening. So he's scared of commitment, came and run longer than a couple days without it, let alone this is a week. But, you know, he has his little boy out there, bitch, Mitch, doing the trading. So it's okay. Because if you had, you know, a fruit boy doing it, man, he'd be scared of this commitment. But at the same time, maybe this Mitch bitch is the one responsible for all these losses that are happening. Taking the bigger risk like Solana. And all that, right? So you guys admitted you guys traded with Solana because you wanted to take a little bit of a bigger risk with everybody's money to get bigger profit, but it went against you guys, and you guys got screwed, and you screwed everybody. That's why you had to turn that shit off on that one trade, and you had only instead of six days of trades, you had five days of trading because you guys incurred some losses. So that's the bullshit with this platform all right and this is, it's a platform and then to go even longer trying to go with the concept of 14 days 30 days it's all oh, so against the message you were early sending out earlier this year about no more platforms you don't want to commit yourself locked in to 14 days let alone 30 days holy shit and yet this is what you're doing contradiction once again all over once again contradicting yourself over and over and over again and i mean it is what it is this is the truth this is all i call out all i do is call out the truth 
But you guys hate that. And thanks, guys. The Mitches, the Bitches, that other bitch, uh, what's her name? Deconnected. Who else is out there? The Jamie, the admin bitch. He's a little keyboard warrior bitch. Talk about keyboard warrior. That's the <laughs> ultimate keyboard warrior with the band hammers and all that. So thanks for the acknowledgement. All right. But I'm not a douche. All right. Because you think I'm a douche. Oh, <laughs> You couldn't even spell douche right, by the way. Um, all I got to say is, all I'm doing is just bringing out the facts. Because you guys don't bring out the facts. So I got to bring out the facts for you guys. Because without all this bullshit, throughout all this bullshit, that I'm trying, I'm just trying to help the community. I'm trying to help everybody out there in crypto. Because you guys are so full of it. Alright? And don't bust me up. With Deconnect saying, oh man, she's all for this, but only put in like 0.2. Come on. 0.2 BNB? That's nothing. That's like sprinkling dust all over this big pot here. That's not doing nothing for nobody. So don't act like you're moving the community and all that stuff. All right. All these guys are here to make trades with this large pot and collecting the fees on your money here this is your money and they're just reaping the rewards collecting those fees making big trades on you guys and just collecting it and be like all right well let's just give them the three to five percent all right which is tiny compared to probably what they're really making right but they don't want to reveal that all right and if they are well it's two ways all right one they're taking that money from you two they don't know how to trade worth the shit anyways because they're they're incurring losses but on a bigger pot. This is on you guys. Alright? Yeah, they got that little pool thing on the side. But they're they're taking minimal risk with that. They don't want to lose that pot. That's their money. This is your money they're trading on. That's why they had to turn it off that one day. Because they got a loss. Big loss with Solana. Alright? Because they don't want to take safe safe trades they're trying to make brain in profits on you guys all right but they can't because they still lose that's the thing about this beauty it, it just loses every time just like these people a bunch of losers that's what they do so maybe there's a reason why there's less people they're starting to see the truth finally that's why there's a lot less people this time i mean you know when you think about it, 51 down to 40 that's a sig that's significant because of the fact that, you know, when you have this less, you know, many people, which is not that many, ten, you know, taking away 11, that's a big chunk from already. So what's next? What's what's it going to go down to next time? All right. And so I give it to you on this one, though. This one, yeah, you got one more extra person. But this is the most you've ever had in the first place because the max you ever had was 25 people at one point and that's it I actually no uh no 24 i'm sorry so 25 is the most people you have right now as we speak but the amount of cake is nowhere close to what you had on its high this is on its low right now lowest i've seen since the beginning and so what does that mean well it means that People don't really care about these smart contracts, especially from bullshit YouTubers and bullshit losers. That's what these guys are. And so you guys think you're winners, but you guys are a bunch of losers and you guys don't bring in the facts. So I got to do it for you. And that's what I'm doing. This is not FUD at all. This is just the facts. All right. 51 people is not the same as 40 because now it's less. Eh, a little bit less B and B, but think about it: six people have 294 total from six people. That tells you that a whole lot of people are not really that interested, and nobody cares. So that's another day for you in the life of this burning tree, as it continues to burn to the ground. All right, don't bust me up with that long-term deal, because that's totally against your your whole thing about oh no more platforms no more long term no more lock-ins come on dude so full of shit got you once again 
I'll see you in the next one.